Donnell Pomfrey holds the record for most career rushing yards and was a star in college. Unfortunately, the success he had in college did not translate to the NFL. But who is Donnell Pumphrey? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of different collegiate and pro athletes. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel, as well as commenting below who you want to see in future episodes. I want to thank Jackson from Gem Live for joining me on this video. Donnell LaRay Pumphrey was born on December 6th, 1994 in North Las Vegas, Nevada, and grew up in both the San Diego and Las Vegas area. Donnell started going to his older brother Tyree's games when he was three years old and wanted to play the game then. He would grab a football on the sideline and run his own plays on the side. Two years later, he was allowed to play, and from a young age, Pumphrey was a star. When playing flag football, no one could catch the five-year-old as he weaved and zipped through defenders, scoring a touchdown as often as he was stopped. Pumphrey impressed parents in the stands as some exclaimed he was going to be playing in the NFL one day. Pumphrey played with his brother, who was two years older, in youth football, and they would become a force in San Diego's youth football scene. They wanted to be like the Barber brothers one day. Donnell, like Tiki Barber, playing running back, while his brother Tyree, like Grande, played defensive back. Tyree moved on from his football dream, but Donnell kept his dream alive. When Donnell's mother decided to move to Las Vegas for a better job opportunity, Pumphrey's youth coach was worried about stunting his football development, saying, Gina, you don't understand. This kid is special. He has vision. He's nine years old and sees the field like no one at his age can. The move went well for Pumphrey as he was able to find a Pop Warner team in Vegas and continued to dominate in the youth ranks. He had vision, speed, and acceleration, but he also had a great work ethic focused on becoming a successful football player. But during 8th grade, Donnell started getting himself into trouble and his mother sent him back to San Diego saying, He was going through puberty, starting to hang out with the wrong crowd, so I just felt like I had to send him away. Kids at times don't appreciate their parents, but he quickly realized he wanted to do better. Pumphrey matured and wanted to return to Las Vegas so his mother could watch him play all his games. His mother knew he had matured and knew high school head coach Cooper would help Donnell. My gift is I could reach young men that a lot of people can't reach. That's my wheelhouse. DJ was a young man who could have gone down that wrong road. A lot of his friends did, but football was a safe haven. Football was his outlet, so he loved being nowhere else other than the field. Pumphrey attended Canyon Springs High School where he would wear the number 5 in honor of Reggie Bush. Pumphrey's head coach told anybody who would listen that Donnell was going to be the next Reggie Bush, but no one would listen to him. During his junior year, Pumphrey rushed for 1,666 yards and 22 touchdowns and helped lead Canyon Springs to its first Northeast Division title. Pumphrey finished as a second team All-State selection and seemed poised to have a fantastic senior year. Then Pumphrey started acting strange and consistently started getting into arguments with his mother. Pumphrey was going to have a baby that was due near the end of the football season his senior year. His mother said he was dealing with a lot inside and didn't know how to tell me, and to be honest, I wasn't too thrilled. He's a young kid and I knew his future and what we had planned for him. Pumphrey's coach focused on guiding him throughout the whole situation, and on November 2, 2012, Pumphrey's daughter was born on a senior night. Pumphrey knew from then on, anything he did in football was for her. Pumphrey went on to rush for 1,491 yards and 19 touchdowns and was named the Gatorade Player of the Year for Nevada, along with First Team All-State. According to 24-7 Sports Composite, Donnell Pumphrey was a three-star recruit who was the 48th best all-purpose back, 6th best player in Nevada, and 1700th best player in his class. 24-7 Sports themselves only had him rated as a two-star recruit. Pumphrey only received four different Division I offers from Duke, Nevada, UNLV, and San Diego State. The San Diego State offer almost didn't come, but Pumphrey's head coach had a connection with the Aztec offensive coordinator. I told Coach Horton, on everything I stand for a man, not just as a football coach and a former player of yours, like a son. This kid is the real deal. It was not a mystery why schools did not offer Pumphrey. He was only 5'9 and 165 pounds according to 24-7 Sports. Pumphrey used the lack of belief due to his size as motivation, saying, That's why I try to play with a chip on my shoulder and play as big as possible. I try to play like I'm 6'1", 240 pounds. That's just how my game is. 
Pomfrey committed to San Diego State and went on to have a legendary career, and to talk about his time there, I want to welcome Jackson from Gem Live. Jackson does NBA content, and if you have not checked out his channel yet, take a look and subscribe. I have linked it in the description below. Thank you so much for having me on the channel. If you guys don't already subscribe to Jonathan, I highly recommend it. I'm obsessed with his videos. They're just so entertaining. And I'm thrilled to be doing this topic today because I'm currently a junior at San Diego State University. And that's where Donald Pumphrey ended up going. So he's a legend here. Let's get right into it. He actually got a lot of playing time as a true freshman because he shocked his coaches in spring practices his first year here. They were amazed he was able to adapt to the collegiate level of play so quickly. He ended up earning the second string role and it was really a one-two punch from him and starter Adam Muma. Keep this number in your head for his first year. He rushed for 752 yards on 125 carries. Muma declared for the NFL draft after his junior year, but Aztecs fans knew that Donnell would be the leader of Rocky Long's run-heavy offense the next year. And there were some questions if he'd be able to carry the full load of a season's carries because he in college he only stood at 5'8 and was 175 pounds soaking wet. Well, not only did he more than double his carries from his true freshman year, but his production was insane. He rushed for 1,862 yards on 276 carries. That's 6.8 yards a carry and the other teams knew he was gonna get the ball and he racked up 20 touchdowns as well. He was undersized but proved to be much stronger than his stature. He had a quick first step, he was patient hitting the hole, but once he made up his mind, he was gone, shaking off arm tacklers, making people miss, and he could turn on the jets. He had absolute burners. He had track speed when he was running straight ahead, running a sub 4-5 in the 40-yard dash. So not many people could catch him if he broke past the second level of the defense. He was officially the face of the program and showed no signs of slowing down. He fortunately, unlike so many other running backs that got so many carries, suffered injuries, but Donnell was able to stay healthy all four seasons at SDSU. His sophomore season in 2014, from a team perspective, wasn't anything to brag about. Going seven and six and five and three in the Mountain West and losing their bowl game to Navy 16 to 17. But they had a bona fide star at running back in Donnell and high hopes going into the 2015 season. Donnell Pumphrey's junior season was not disappointing. And not only did he continue his dominate running game, but he became even more dynamic as a receiving back. Getting the ball in the open field outside the tackles, this was a huge addition to the offense and he had a better year overall. He rushed for 653 yards, but had 414 receiving yards, which for any receiver in the college football is a decent year, totaling 20 touchdowns again on the year. But the team did exceptionally better as well. They finished the year 11-3 and and 8-0 and in the Mountain West, and they beat Cincinnati in the Hawaii Bowl. Just to add a side note, I'm a junior here and I've been working with the football team ever since I got here, and so not only do I wish I was here working with the football team while Donnell was playing, but a free trip to Hawaii sounds really nice as well. But this was all the moment the Aztecs and Donnell needed to launch his senior year campaign. And as the saying goes, he saved the best for last. Rocky Long and the Aztecs hopped on the back of five foot eight Donald Pumphrey and let him carry the ball 349 times, 40 more carries than he had in any other season. And he was still able to manage 6.1 yards per carry, which gave him a total of 2,133 yards. And I've been so adamant about saying how many yards he rushed for each season because some quick math showed us that he rushed for a career of 6,000 405 yards, which made him the FBS record holder for career rushing yards. And not to take away from anything he did, but before Jonathan's comments go crazy, he's officially number one because they omitted players' bowl game stats if you played before 2002. So on the list overall, he's number four, but officially he's number one. But can we just take a second to acknowledge when we think of great college football running backs in recent past, we have people like Derrick Henry, Mark Ingram, Saquon Barkley, Reggie Bush, Monte Ball, Jonathan Taylor, but a 5'8 175 pound running back in the Mountain West Conference and only a three-star recruit coming out of high school has the record. And coming from an SDSU student, his legend will live on forever here and his skill set was so unique and it was just so much fun to watch. He gave the fans something to be excited about and you held your breath every single time he touched the ball, just knowing something electric could happen every time he touched the ball. And that's gonna wrap up his college career. I'll send it back to Jonathan to talk about his time in the NFL. Thank you so much for having me on the channel. Thank you again, Jackson, for joining me on this video. After having a legendary career at San Diego State, many fans and analysts projected Pumphrey to be drafted sometime on day two in the 2017 NFL Draft. Unfortunately, the 2017 running back class was stacked and Pumphrey's stats were taken with a grain of salt due to playing in the Mountain West. Again, Pumphrey, like in high school, had question marks around his size, only measuring 5 feet 8 inches tall and 176 pounds. 
Humphrey would drop to the fourth round of the draft where the Philadelphia Eagles would take him 132nd overall. This made him the 12th running back taken off the board. Humphrey competed against Darren Sproles, Byron Marshall, Wendell Smallwood, and Corey Clement for a spot in the running back rotation during training camp. Before the start of the season, he was named the fourth string running back behind LeGarrette Blunt, Darren Sproles, and Corey Clement. Unfortunately, he would miss his entire rookie year after tearing his hamstring in practice and did not record a single snap all year. During the 2017 season, the Eagles would go on to beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl, winning Pumphrey his first Super Bowl ring. He would spend the 2018 offseason rehabbing and getting ready for the 2018 season, but was waived on September 1, 2018. Less than a week later, Pumphrey was picked up by the Detroit Lions, but was released later that month. Then the Eagles caught him again and signed him to the practice squad. Pumphrey used this opportunity to continue healing and to show coaches what he was able to do. The Eagles would sign him to a future reserves contract, but Pumphrey's would not make the final 53-man roster in 2019 and became a free agent. Rather than wait around for a phone call from an NFL team, Pumphrey decided to sign with the XFL, where he was drafted 49th overall in the 7th round of the inaugural draft by the DC Defenders. He was the 12th running back taken and second one by the DC Defenders, who drafted Jarrell Presley 17th overall. Presley and Pumphrey split carries to the defenders, serving as more of a one-two punch. Pumphrey finished a shortened season rushing for 168 yards on 46 attempts and zero touchdowns. He also had nine catches for 68 yards in the passing game. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, the league was forced to shut down right as it was starting to gain momentum. Pumphrey became a free agent after the league folded and was unable to land on an NFL roster going into the 2020 season. It will be interesting to see whether Pumphrey returns to the XFL once the league, now under the ownership of Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Redbird Financial, returns in 2022. From the looks of it, Pumphrey is spending time with his family and continues to train in the San Diego area. If you enjoyed this video and want me to do more videos like this, leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and let me know who you want to see in future episodes. Make sure you go check out Jackson's channel, and as always, remember to embrace the grind.